Hi guys, welcome to my class. Our topic for today is about translations. You are going to learn it here the easy way. In case you are new to my channel, please subscribe so that you will be kept updated on the next math lesson. Then like and share so that you can also help other students. We are going to learn today how to translate a figure in a coordinate plane. Transformation states how two-dimensional figures move around a coordinate plane. A pre-image is the original or the first appearance of a figure in the transformation operation. A translation is the moving of the figure without rotating, resizing, or anything else. Remember, it is just simply moving, okay? In a translation, it involves the ordered pair the x value and the y value. When you are going to translate the figure to the right, you are going to add the value to the x coordinate. However, if you are going to translate the figure to the left, you are going to subtract it to the x coordinate. Moreover, if you are going to move the figure up, you are going to add the value to the y coordinate. Furthermore, if you are going to translate the figure down, you're going to subtract the value to the y-coordinate. I want you to remember that congruent is of the same shape and size. You are allowed to flip, slide, or turn the figure as long as the shape and the size are the same. Let us work on this example so that you will be guided. Graph the triangle LET with vertices L with an ordered pair of negative 3 and negative 5 Vertex E with an ordered pair of negative 3 and negative 1, and vertex C with an ordered pair of negative 1 and negative 1. Then graph the image of triangle LET after a translation 5 units right and 3 units up. Write the ordered pair or coordinate of its vertices. We are going to draw the coordinate plane so that we can plot the points or the ordered pairs. For point L, when x is negative 3, y is negative 5. For point E, when x is negative 3, y is negative 1. And for point T, when x is negative 1, y is negative 1. We are going to connect the points with a straight line. Since the translation is 5 units to the right, we're going to add 5 to the x-coordinate. And 3 units up, we're going to add 3 to the y-coordinate. Let us work on L prime. Since point L has an ordered pair of negative 3 and negative 5, we're going to add 5 to negative 3. And it will give us 2. And we're going to add 3 to negative 5, which will give us negative 2. Therefore, the x-coordinate of L prime is 2, and the y-coordinate of L prime is negative 2. Likewise, we're going to do the same on point E, and it will give us E prime as 2 and 2. For x coordinate, minus 3 plus 5 will give us 2, and for y coordinate, minus 1 plus 3 will give us 2. For point P, the process will be the same. We're going to add 5 to the x coordinate and add 3 to the y coordinate, and it will give us P prime as 4 and 2. Let us locate the L prime on the coordinate plane. When x is 2, y is minus 2. And for E prime, when x is 2, y is 2. And for T prime, when x is 4, y is 2. Upon connecting the points with a straight line, you can see that the red figure is translated 5 units right and 3 units up. Let us work on another example so that you can understand it well. Graph the triangle JOY with vertices J and an ordered pair of 1 and 2, vertex O with an ordered pair of 0 and minus 1, and vertex Y with an ordered pair of 5 and 1. Then, graph the image of triangle JOY after a translation, 2 units left and 4 units down. Write the coordinates of its vertices. We are going to draw the coordinate plane so that we can plot the triangle JOY. When x is 1, y is 2, that is point J. When x is 0, 
point is minus 1, that is point O. And when x is 5, y is 1, that is point Y. Let us connect the dots with a straight line. This time, let us draw a table so that everything will be clear to you. Let us write the points and its ordered pair. Since we are going to translate two units left, we are going to subtract 2 from the x-coordinate. And 4 units down, we are going to subtract 4 from the y-coordinate. Therefore, point J will have the ordered pair of 1 minus 2 for x, which will give us minus 1, and 2 minus 4 for y, which will give us minus 2. The steps will be the same for point O. We're going to subtract 2 from the x-coordinate and subtract 4 from the y-coordinate. Accordingly, 0 minus 2 will give us negative 2, and negative 1 minus negative 4 will give us negative 5. Therefore, O prime will give us the ordered pair of negative 2 and negative 5. The step for point Y will be the same. 5 minus 2 for the x-coordinate and 1 minus 4 for the y-coordinate. And Y prime will give us the ordered pair of 3 and negative 3. Let us start plotting the points of the translated figure. J prime is minus 1 and negative 2. When X is minus 1, Y is negative 2. When x is minus 2, y is negative 5, and that is O prime. And when x is 3, y is minus 3, and that is y prime. Let us connect the black dots with a straight line. And you can see that the green triangle is translated 2 units left and 4 units down. Let us work on this example so that you can hit it off. Graph the triangle YES with vertices Y and an ordered pair of negative 4 and 3, vertex E with an ordered pair of negative 4 and 1, and vertex S with an ordered pair of negative 3 and 1. Then, graph the image of triangle YES after a translation of 6 units right and 2 units down. Write the coordinates of its vertices. We are going to draw the table and the graph so that we can plot the points of the triangle YES. Let us write the points and its corresponding ordered pairs. I want you to take note of this. The translation is 6 units to the right and 2 units down. Accordingly, the formula for the x-coordinate is x plus 6. We are going to add 6 to the x-coordinate. And the formula for the y-coordinate is y minus 2. We are going to subtract 2 from the y-coordinate. Let us plot the point y. When x is minus 4, y is 3. When x is minus 4, y is 1. And that is point E. Moreover, when x is minus 3, y is 1. And that is point S. Let us connect the points with a straight line. Let us work on the translated point of y. For the x-coordinate, it is minus 4 plus 6. And for the y-coordinate, it is 3 minus 2. Therefore, the ordered pair of y prime is 2 and 1. Accordingly, when x is 2, y is 1. Let us work on the translated points of e. For the x-coordinate, it is minus 4 plus 6. And for the y-coordinate, it is 1 minus 2. And it will give us the ordered pair of e prime, which is 2 and minus 1. Accordingly, when x is 2, y is minus 1. However, for the translated points of s, the x coordinate is minus 3 plus 6, and the y coordinate is 1 minus 2. Accordingly, the ordered pair of s prime is 3 and minus 1. Connecting the points with the red line, it will give us the translated figure of the black triangle 6 units to the right and 2 units down. Correspondingly, we have met our goal for today's lesson. We have learned how to translate a figure on the coordinate plane. Just remember, if you are going to translate the figure to the right, you are going to add the units to the x-coordinate. While if you are going to translate it to the left, you are going to subtract the value from the x-coordinate. How 
However, if you're going to translate it up, you're going to add the value to the y coordinate. Moreover, if you're going to translate the figure down, you're going to subtract the value from the y coordinate. To wrap it up, I want you to plot the points first of the pre image. Then, I want you to identify the translation very well. If it is to the right, you are going to add to the x coordinate. But if it is to the left, you are going to subtract from the x coordinate. Moreover, if it is going up, you are going to add to the y coordinate. But if it is going down, you are going to subtract from the y coordinate. Then, plot the points of the ordered pair that was translated. And you can see the translated figure of the pre-image. To conclude our lesson for today, I want you to always remember what His Highness Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahayan, may his soul rest in peace, wrote for us, Education is like a lantern which lights your way in a dark alley. Sheikh Zayed wrote and left this quote for us so that the youth will always remember the importance of education. The genuine concern of Sheikh Zayed for his nation will always remain as this code will handed down from generation to generation. And to encapsulate our lesson for today, I want you to always remember that life is a math equation. You cannot get the most of it if you cannot convert the negatives into positive. I do hope you have learned a lot for today's topic. And you find it easy. Okay? Till next math lesson. Bye-bye!